We have news to share tonight about a very courageous woman we've featured over the past year. North Canton educator, mother, grandmother, community leader, and ALS warrior Susie Van Franken passed away this week. Susie's battle may be over, but she has inspired an army of passionate crusaders who are going to carry on her mission. Monica Robbins has that story. She made us promise that we'd we'd keep the trips going and keep the connection going. In truth, she was always the glue, the one who stayed in North Canton. She was our travel planner for our trips, so um, we're going to fulfill that commitment to our friend. The trips and stories and laughter will go on, as evident a few weeks ago when the girls from Hoover, the class of 74, got together again. <laughs> but there's no denying Susie Van Vranken will be missed. That's what fills my heart because um, you know, she wasn't sure what kind of condition she'd be in on that trip, and I think she willed herself to be able to communicate, to be able to join in. I just think it was her way of, I'm gonna hold on for this, and then it might be time. Less than two weeks after their fun-filled gathering, Susie passed away. In her home, with family by her side. Obviously her leaving, her being gone, leaves a great big hole in all of our hearts. And we've been talking a lot the last couple of days about how we're trying to fill that hole with happy memories, because we have a whole lot of them. The average lifespan of someone diagnosed with ALS is two to five years. Susie Van Vranken had 26 months, and she made the most of every single second, using her computer, her connections, and her voice when she could to fight for fast-tracking access to promising drugs. You know, nothing gets done if people aren't willing to fight. It may be too late for me, but I'm willing to fight to help other people. Her fight does go on in the Susie V Foundation. In addition to supporting her love for education, the organization will also further research for those affected by ALS. The minute she got the diagnosis, she started fighting, started to figure out what she could do to move legislation along and how she could educate us on how to do that. Um, and that's, that was, that was Susie. That was Susie. Monica Robbins, 3 News. Quite an incredible story.